How do you do, YouTube? We are back. It's a new event, trade deadline. It's a Thursday, which is kind of weird, uh, but we're not going to talk about that at all. I'm just going to go ahead and open packs because if you clicked on this video, that's probably what you wanted to see. So this week, Elite 3, didn't play much, don't really care. Got 480k um, from selling everything from last week uh, and up to 490 now. I was actually up to five something and then I bought 89 burrows. So we're just going to go right ahead and go for it. First is a Jumbo Premium Players Pack. 20 items, all gold players, at least 580 plus. Let's go. Got a lot of cards out today. Just jumping straight to it. Ooh, we just skipped Lekkonen. And that was a weird thing. Why does that card look so weird? I, I don't know. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. That Lekkonen card looks kind of weird. Krug. Graham Clark. Stadnika. Risky, no. Henrique. Uh, so far, nothing great. Just 81s. Just still 81s. 82 Kemper. That's our best pull of this pack. Okay. Well, all of these are tradable, so we're going to just sell them for whatever they go for. Jumbo Premium Pack. Ah, Elite 3, man. I, I just gave up on squad battles this week. It's just too much. Uh, Elite 3, we get absolutely nothing. Not even... Not even a... I think 79 is the best? Yeah. Oh, brutal. Brutal. What can I expect, though? Didn't play much last week. Gavrikov. FNSU. Tyler Myers. Oh, man. Another one. Just getting nothing here. Sharon Govich and Natchez are the best. Uh, last pack here. Jumbo Premium Pack. We've got... Well, let's just skip everything again. Ah, nothing again? Wow. Wow. I think Gustav Lindstrom is our best card there. Oh, no, it's Kara. Jujar Kara. Ooh, that is brutal. That really sucks. Uh, and if you are still here, uh, the pack opening is over. Um, McKinnon is now in 94, so that's good. Um, I've still got 10, 10 cards, 10 next-gen cards in the lineup. Uh, current progress on objectives for next-gen. Is 300 so we're halfway through doing 30 more games with 10 players we'll finish the objectives which really just sucks it's so boring I really hate doing objectives that are just playing games it's so fucking boring oh my god I, what I did to even get to 300 was play uh, superstar squad battles with two minute periods and got like a thousand per game. And it's just so boring, not fun at all. Oh my God. And I built so many good cards that I can't use in the fucking game because I have to complete objectives because I wanted to upgrade my Bedard. Like, 90 Bedard. I still need to complete all those uh, those other three more. And, uh, well, now Fowler's a 99, so that's cool. Um, and all these Team of the Years are great, but I can't use two defensemen because then I'll only have nine players in my lineup. And Sedins are up to 92, but I'm still holding them at 89 because it costs 420k in coins to upgrade them. I'm just kind of really burnt out with this game. And I've never used 92 Bertuzzi. Zero games played. I've never used him because I'm always chasing objectives. This, this is so stupid. I'm so tired of it. I just want to play games with the cards I have. Like, like, look at all these cards I bought for a Canucks build that I can't use because of these stupid objectives. Like, I'm just... And now they released a JT Miller. 
in, in trade deadline. So I'm going to have to build him just because he's a Canuck currently. Uh, it's just... And... Uh, it's so frustrating. I just... And I couldn't pull anything just now. So what's even the point now of trying to go for trade, trade deadline? I'm supposed to go on vacation in a couple days. Am I going to grind out 30 games to finish Bedard? Uh... I don't want to, but maybe. <laughs> uh, anyways, that is just a quick vent. I am finished. Goodbye.